Um, this is Kylie, my partner of 17, 18 years. Uh, we've been here now, coming up two years, from New Zealand and uh, trucking, farming, manufacturing in New Zealand for children and uh, children are growing up enough now to look after themselves so we're now here in Canada trucking. And this is Daryl. I'm not a very regimental person, I guess, um, and I, I like change, so the yeah, open board for us is perfect. The whole aim of us coming here was to see as much of North America as we could, get paid to do it, which is, which is fantastic, but being able to stop in those little wee towns for our resets and park up for 24 hours and go and have a look around the town, meet people, um, you know, go to- Places you wouldn't visit. And- you know, Little towns, you wouldn't, if you came over on holiday, you wouldn't go, well, I'm gonna to go to Wisconsin and go to this little little town of um, Eclair. Yeah, Eclair, M You Manon know, we've had a couple of resets and... in Eclair early on before COVID, and what a great little place, you know? But you wouldn't have put a pin on a map and said, I'm going all the way to the States and I'm gonna go and stay there. You'd drive past them. So that, doing what we're doing gives us that ability to do all those little bits and pieces. So the, the bag I, I, is, a, is a handbag that I, a Marilyn Monroe denim handbag I bought from New Zealand with me over here. And when we were thinking about what souvenirs do we want to take home, um, we're, we live in a truck. <laughs> There's not a lot of room for souvenirs. What are we going to take? You can't so, buy shot glasses at every truck stop because, no. man, the place would be full of them, you know? <laughs> so what I decided was that I would collect a lapel pin from every state that we went to. And when we did certain activities where I could buy a relevant pin, then I would buy a relevant pin. So um, so things like when we went to see the polar bears, I bought a polar bear one. We went. Um, down the bob sled in Calgary, so I bought a bob sled pin, and and so that's kind of become my um, not only my souvenir, but also you know a really prized possession that I had. It's that's one of the biggest misconceptions of the trucking industry, isn't it? That it's rough and tough and uneducated. Once upon a time it possibly was, but it's not anymore. You know, my co-driver has, has a bachelor's degree, so, um, you know. And I think trucking, truck drivers themselves now are so diverse. Um, basically, if, if you can think of that person, there is somebody out there driving a truck that is that person. So, you know, for anybody who wants to get into the industry, um, I guarantee you that whatever you are, whatever gender, whatever, you know, ethnicity, whatever, you know, your preferences are, whatever, anything, education level, um, age, whatever, um, there is somebody out there, you know, doing the job and loving it. It's kind of showing us that what we've had for years back home you don't actually need it. You don't actually need it, you know, like piles and piles and piles of stuff. Clothes and shoes and ornamental and you don't actually need it. We proved you do not need it. But we like it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, we do like it. But we can live without. I think it'll change us forever, even when we do go home, you know, and, and later in life we'll eventually venture back to New Zealand, but it'll make us different people, I think.